Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, head on over to WillieHow.com. Click Hire Us or the Contact Us form. Fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What we're talking about in this video is a free uh, web-based control panel if you have a web server. Now, whether you run uh, web servers at, at home, in a home lab, or in an office, in a corporate environment, sometimes it's just much easier to use a UI. As much of a fan as I am as the command line, a lot of these web-based UIs make our lives so much easier. And so I've been looking around at a lot of the different control panels, and this is the one that I've settled on, and it's called AA Panel. So let's take a look at it. We're actually going to install it here. Uh, but it is a it's a free panel. Uh, they are on version 6.8.27. Now the the panel itself is free, so you can see right here we can use all the free plugins. But then uh, you're going to see once we get it installed that there are um, other professional uh, plugins. So I'm going to leave a link. I'll leave a link to a panel down um, in the description. But right here supports your uh, your big three, um, I guess is what you would call it. I mean, I'm going to say big three, but you've got a CentOS or, you know, Red Hat, Fedora, SUSE, all the uh, Yum, Yum based um, distributions. And you've got Ubuntu and you've got Debian. And then down here, they've also got uh, management scripts and things that you can work with. So you're probably going to want to bookmark this. But Right now, what I've got is I've got an, uh, an Ubuntu 20.0.4, which is a long-term release. I've got it running in a VM, and I am SSH'd in. So we are actually, as my non-root user, we what we're going to do is I'm literally just going to come over here, and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come over here. I'm SSH'd in. I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to hit Enter, and it's going to say, uh, do you want to install a panel to the www directory now? And I am going to say yes. And do I want to enable SSL? Yes. So it is going to go out. It's going to uh, modify my sources. It's going to probably add itself. And then it's going to go out and download everything that it needs. I don't know if it adds the, uh, let's look at the script. While it's doing that. Um, yeah, I don't know if it adds if it adds to it or not. We'll have to check that out. But uh, I've been playing around with this, and uh, I really, really like it. So, And I think you're going to like it, too. So we'll wait for it to get installed. And here's the really cool thing um, is that install of Ubuntu that you saw me SSH into, it literally is the base Ubuntu and SSH, and that's it. When we get into the control panel, the control panel is actually going to install the rest of the subsystem that we need. And it's going to give us the option to choose from Nginx or Apache. And Nginx has a lot more features that you can use than Apache, but Apache is nice and easy. Everybody knows Apache. But for this this one, this uh, purpose, we'll probably go ahead and use uh, Nginx. So you can see it looks like the uh, install is chugging right along. I only gave this machine 2 gigs of RAM. So... Um, we'll see. Yeah, so it's going out and it's downloading a bunch of stuff from AA panel uh, right now. I'm assuming, assuming it's all in the script, not that uh, that it necessarily added itself to the sources dot list. I didn't really look uh, that close at it a couple other times that I've installed it. But you can see it is chugging right along here. And the other thing that I like about this is you're going to see once we get into the web browser um, is that as you update this and new software becomes available, like uh, PHP 7 is uh, now being, you know, um, spun down and you should be on PHP version 8 and you can actually choose your PHP versions with this. So it's it's really nice. It just makes managing a lot of stuff so so easy so now we're installed here and uh 
what we're going to do is we're going to go to the internal IP address. You can see it's got my internet IP there, which should hopefully be uh, blocked out. And um, it gave me a default username and password, which is totally random, which is what we want. We want that to be totally random. So we're going to go over to this URL and we're going to get this loaded. I'm going to show this to you. It's pretty sweet. Uh, username that it gave me, and then we're going to put the default password in there and you can also log in with a QR code. All right. So, uh, right here at the very beginning, we're going to get this recommended software packages. So I'm not going to do an email server. If I was going to do an email server, I could select that. If I was going to do a DNS server, I could, uh, uh, select that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Nginx. I'm going to do the, the, uh, I'm, I'm not sure what the one down at the bottom is, but I'm going to do one dot 21. We'll do my SQL 5.7, I'm not going to do uh, an FTP server, I'm going to do PHP 8, and we'll do uh, PHP My Admin 5, and I'm just going to do one click, and so now you're going to see it go out, it's now going to install Nginx, it's going to install MySQL, it's going to install PHP 8, and it's going to install PHP My Admin. So in the back you can see that uh, I'm pegging the CPU and the memory of, of this box. It's a, a, just a VM running here on the laptop. So we're going to let this go and uh, let it install, and we will be right back. All right, so uh, this is completely finished. No tasks, and it is done. It took a little bit longer because I only have a 10 gig drive. So you can see we're using uh, 6.8 gigs. We're using 20% of the RAM, but it is running smoothly. It says so. It's got all this stuff that you can you can tack on, like the website firewalls or WAF web, uh, web application firewall, website statistics, website tamper proof, anti intrusion, all these cool things. Um, and you can get a 15 day, um, trial, I believe you can, or, uh, some sort of a, a trial for that. But let's look at what happens if we add a website. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to add a PHP project. Now I could come in here, add, um, domain name, but check this out. So I can also come in here and just do a deployment of WordPress automatically. So instead of just creating a, a, a site here um, with, with these settings, we can do WordPress. So I'll come in here and I'll call this uh, blog.willyhow.com, Willie's blog. Now, here's the, um, here's the thing. Um, um, if I had the DNS set and pointed to this uh, and I had port 80 and 443 open, it will automatically go out and also get an SSL certificate. So it's got, it's got that going. But right now it is deploying WordPress. Please wait. And it says that the, um, the website was successful. So here you can see blog.willyhow.com is running. Quota not set, perpetual, we're on PHP 8, SSL says not set, but I need to either do a file verification or a DNS verification. I can force HTTPS, I can do an other certificate so I can paste in the private key so I can go out and buy an SSL certificate. I can turn it off and then we can see information about the certificate there. So uh, here are some other things to take a look at. So here's our domain manager. So we can add other domains that point to this. We can bind different uh, domain names to subdirectories. Got a site directory here. We can limit access. We can also deny access. We've got uh, traffic control here. So we can limit how many people or how many connections we can have here's URL rewrite default indexes uh, straight up config file here we looked at uh, the SSL already 
There it is again, a PHP version, so you can switch uh, versions. Here's some WordPress settings, so you can come in here, you can reset the uh, the password for that admin that you set up. You can purge the cache. Here's our composer information. We can add an auto redirect. We can also do reverse proxy with this. We can do hot link protection. And then here's our, our log. So you can see, I mean, how many options, and this just makes it so easy. It's through, uh, it's through, uh, you know, the UI here. So we can enable um, the Nginx web application firewall. Let's see. So we'll just go down here real quick. If we had FTP set up, uh, this would be here. I did not install FTP. Databases, we can view every database running on the server. We can do PHP, MyAdmin. We can do remote DBs. We can install Docker on here and run um, Docker apps. Here's our monitor, which is pretty nice. Under security, this is kind of our firewall setup here. Here's that uh, web application firewall. So it only supports Nginx um, and it defends against a lot of things. Um, you do have to buy it. Here's a file manager that's built in. You can get to the terminal. So this should come up and fail or ask me for my credentials. I can put it in there and then I can have the terminal directly through here. So if I have to have the terminal, there it is. Here's cron. We can uh, come in here and add all our cron jobs. Now here's the app store. So you can try the pro edition for free. You can buy individual apps on top of um, what you've got, or you can buy like a monthly subscription of this. Uh, for what I'm using it for, um, I don't think I'm going to need to buy any of the other stuff, but I probably will at some point to support this great um, project. And then under settings, this is the settings for... Um, the server so you can come in here you know set up your email um, so that you're getting notifications and password resets and all that good stuff um, and like I said I I find tremendous value in this I am going to be able to deploy many websites single server with SSL keep it secure and um, all thanks to this AA panel so I am going to buy some of those things to support the project or maybe just send them five bucks to, um, you know, get a coffee. If you've got questions about this control panel, uh, if you use this control panel, let me know down in the comments if you use other control panels. Let's uh, take a look and see what else is out there. I uh, looked at about uh, six or eight open source web hosting control panels, installed a few of the other ones, installed this one really like this because I don't have to have necessarily have multiple users have access to this server. Um, if I did, that may change uh, what I'm doing. But let me know what you think and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, comment and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with our consulting link and all of our affiliate links and Patreon links. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.